I'm gonna say iconic a million times, I'm sorry. Hello Disney friends, my name is Kaylee and welcome to my channel. Today I have a super fun video that is in collaboration with my friend Matt over at Teacup for One, which his channel is absolutely fantastic. So if you're not familiar with Matt's channel, I will have it linked down below as well as the other channels that are participating in this collaboration this week. But every single week, Matt has been doing a video collaboration with several YouTubers on films that were featured in The Great Movie Ride. And when I saw this collaboration, I knew I had to get in on it because I loved The Great Movie Ride. I thought it was one of the best attractions at Hollywood Studios. I'm very sad that they don't have it anymore. So I really was super excited to be included in this collaboration. So this week for the Great Movie Ride collaboration, we are doing Mary Poppins. In today's video, I'll be watching Mary Poppins Return for the first time ever and giving my thoughts and also giving you my thoughts while we're watching the OG Mary Poppins, which I haven't seen in probably 10 or 15 years. And then at the very end, we are going to be doing a competition to see who wins in the categories of like best comedy, best cast, best storyline, best songs, etc. to see if Mary Poppins Returns matches up to our OG Mary Poppins. So I will be watching Mary Poppins Returns first to kind of give myself a more unbiased reaction so I'm not just like completely comparing it to the original and then I'll watch the original second to get like a feel for that one as well like I said because I have forgotten definitely parts of that movie. I guess this is our new Dick Van Dyke character. He's the little lamp lighter, which I figured they would have kind of like a Burt character in this. Oh, okay. The ship's, the ship guy is back in this one. And I was always super confused about the guy who had like the ship on top of his house in Mary Poppins. I was always really confused about that man. And <laughs> I'm shocked that he's still there. I'm loving this new bank character, and uh, I'll put a screenshot so you guys know which one I'm talking about, but he is so nice, and I'm really enjoying his character so far. So I will say already I consider this to be a sequel because we're following Michael and Jane later on down the line, and I will say I think it was a smart decision for Disney to make to do like a continuation, and it was perfect because they were able to like kind of do the time period again so far, I think it's going really well. I, I really, really am loving Michael, and I'm really loving the backstory so far. I'm getting a villain vibe from Colin Firth, and I don't know how I feel about this, because I genuinely love Colin Firth as an actor, so I'm not liking I'm getting a villain vibe from him, but maybe I'm reading it wrong. I don't know. I could be completely wrong, but I feel like this movie has a bit more of like the recognizable fantasy than we got with the OG Mary Poppins. I could be wrong. I don't remember it being this like fantasy heavy. I'm still not enjoying the songs as much as the OG Mary Poppins, which I totally expected, but I will say I'm really loving their tie-dye outfits and open the cover was pretty good. Probably the best song thus far. I feel like there's a lot more drama in this one. I mean, I don't remember the OG one having like this much drama. <laughs> I love this whole clock tower bit to turn back time and that they're not like doing something magical to turn back time, that they're literally just climbing up there and turning it back. Like I, I love that so much because I was really confused about what direction they were going to go when uh, they kind of brought up the time travel part. I'm really just wanting this guy to betray him. <laughs> Just betray him already. <laughs> I love Dick Van Dyke so much. Like he still, he still has it. <laughs> that was it for Mary Poppins Returns. Just based on what I do remember from the OG before I rewatch it, um, I really, really loved Mary Poppins Returns them still being connected to the bank. Dick Van Dyke making a cameo, which I didn't know before I actually watched this but I was like looking up Dick Van Dyke um dancing because he was doing a dance with Derek Huff to Step in Time and I just wanted to see it again because I, I do love Dick Van Dyke. It came up something while I was searching for that about how Dick Van Dyke played the old man banker in the OG Mary Poppins which I totally did not know. I don't know if it's true or not but I read on there that he actually paid 
Walt Disney to play that role. Like he paid him a thousand dollars or something to let him play that role. So I'm not sure if that's true or not, but that was pretty funny. And I obviously Dick Van Dyke, he's super talented in every facet. I was so happy to see an appearance from him again and to have some familiar characters um, like the Admiral next door and also Helen, their housekeeper. And I'm obviously I'm also sad that Mr. Banks is dead, which is just so sad. We didn't get to see Bert, which I guess makes sense. I mean, I don't, I feel like they didn't know how to bring him back in a good way. But I, I think it, I'm just happy Dick Van Dyke did make an appearance. Uh, as far as I had noticed, Julie Andrews did not make an appearance and I could have totally missed it. Let's move on to our OG Mary Poppins. Dick Van Dyke in this one man band scene, flawless. Like he kills it. Y'all, I totally forgot they broke the fourth wall. Like I do remember it now that I'm seeing it again. But like I forgot they broke the fourth wall. <laughs> We're not even that far into this movie and I've already forgotten so much. Like the nannies being blown away in the wind. Like I completely forgot that part. <laughs> One scene that is so iconic to me is this laughing scene with Uncle Albert. I mean, it's just iconic. Like I remember being a kid and watching Mary Poppins and loving this scene so much. And I still do. I it's it's still just an awesome scene. I was giving the Colonel a hard time in the last movie, Mary Poppins Returns, but I will say the scene here where he's asking Mr. Banks, is Mr. Banks is coming home, like kind of upset. He's like, What's the matter, Banks? Anything the matter? Banks. And I'm like, well, I mean, he's a decent neighbor. I mean, he cares about Mr. Banks. That's like pretty solid. So I'll have to give it to the guy. He needs something to make up for the fact that he fires a cannon <laughs> every hour. I honestly did not remember this whole Tuppence scene being so like dramatic and like him not wanting to give his Tuppence to the bank and then the bank turning into hysteria and then running away. I can't remember any of that. I love the scene of Michael trying to sneak out as a chimney sweep. Like, oh my goodness. I keep saying iconic, but it really is so iconic. Like, love that. I feel like Mr. Banks really had a quick turnaround in the end. And this whole movie, I don't want to say it's ridiculous, but it kind of is. But that's kind of just Mary Poppins for you. Like, it's a bit ridiculous, but it's very fun. And it's very... Um, to use the word again, iconic for a lot of people's childhoods. I honestly believe they ended it on the best song of the entire movie, which in my opinion is Let's Go Fly Kite. All right guys, so that was it for the OG Mary Poppins and I loved it. Again, it was a bit more fantasy than I remember. I know I commented and mentioned for Mary Poppins Return. I didn't think it was that much fantasy in the OG. It was definitely a lot more fantasy than I remember. I thought it was great though. Like, of course, I, some of my favorite scenes are looking through the top portraits and, and, you know, the penguins waiting on them and Jolly Holiday. Like, that song is just an iconic song. Super Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. Ah, can I say it? Super califragilistic expialidocious is also super iconic. Um, but let's go fly a kite was the best. If you have ever seen Saving Mr. Banks, which if you haven't, I highly recommend. That almost makes me want to go cry every single time I see it, just because it's so sweet. So I've come up with several categories, including best cast, best song, best storyline, things like that, to kind of give my final opinion on where I think the original fell versus the sequel. So I'm a little nervous. I went ahead and put these together, but I'm excited to share with you guys my final thoughts. And let me know in your comments down below what your answers to these are and which one is your favorite. First one is the easiest question, which is the best Mary Poppins. And I'm sorry, but if you don't agree that Julie Andrews is the best Mary Poppins, then I don't even know. Her singing in my mind was better than Emily Plant's. I don't want to like have like shots fired here and like be controversial. I felt like her singing was better than Emily Blunt's. I do think Emily Blunt brought a lot to Mary Poppins. It did a fantastic, fantastic job. Okay, next up is best storyline. And honestly, for me, this one is tied because I really love the OG storyline because we do get to see at the end the whole family coming together. You know, obviously Mr. Banks is like the obvious one because he was really prioritizing like the bank before his family in a sense and his job, but also even Mrs. Banks, you know, she was 
fight for a worthy cause, but you'd see her leaving her kids and all the time going to these rallies and things like that, and just, and, you know, her incorporating her love and her fight for women into, like, the kite and going to spend time with her children, I think also was symbolic of her kind of, you know, coming around too, even though she wasn't terrible with her kids. Everything was great. Like, uh, introducing Mary Poppins, I think, was really well done in the original. And, of course, Bert added so much to the original storyline. But I will say for the returns, I thought they did a good job of having a conflict come up, um, of having a villain in this, of reincorporating some characters that we already knew, and also having that fantasy element come back. But really what was the big heartbeat of the return storyline was of course Michael's wife dying and the real the great emotion he portrayed that family coming together I thought was a very beautiful story so uh for me it's a tied thing I can't really pick one or the other I think they both were really really well done next up is best design and I would say for this it has to be returns because their outfits were just amazing um, of course, the like CGI and all of the production value has gone up because the original was filmed in 1964 and this one was 2018. So it's it's obvious that the production value has gone up and it's more aesthetically pleasing to see this, the Mary Poppins Returns. But I still think that OG Mary Poppins did a pretty good job with all their design and also the outfits and ensembles of everyone. Next up is Best Songs, and this one, in my mind, definitely, definitely goes to the original. I will say this. I will say that when I was watching the original, there were several songs that I do remember, but then I'm like, Ugh, they weren't, like, as good as I remember. Um, you know, I think a lot of it is nostalgia, and I feel like there were definitely some great songs in Mary Poppins Returns. Um, that were kind of up there with some of the OG ones. Sherman Brothers did such a good job with the music in the OG one. The music score is iconic and like so good. I'm going to say iconic a million times. I'm sorry. I feel like everyone's going to agree with that one. Okay, next up is Best Cast. And I have to say this one is tied but also kind of leaning to OG. The reason why I would say tied for this one is because I really really loved the casting of Michael and of the children in the Mary Poppins Returns. I do think Emily Blunt like I said was a great casting choice. I feel like all of the supporting um, cast was also fantastic in Mary Poppins Returned. Obviously you know, Van Dyke made a reappearance, and we also had Colin Firth, so we had some great actors. Everyone from the bank it was great. I didn't really have any complaints about anyone's acting, but of course, like, the original, I feel like it was really hard to compete with, um, because you have, like, Julie Andrews, and you have Dick Van Dyke that are just such big characters in that. For me, I think it's tired, because I feel like a grown-up Michael did such a powerful performance, and the children held their own, so... I think it's pretty much a tie for me. Okay, our last category is Best Comedy, and I have to give this one to the OG. I do feel like the returns kind of had a disadvantage on this one because Mary Poppins Return was so much, like, deeper and darker, I feel like, than the OG. Yeah, like, the Uncle Albert scene, Bert in general is just so goofy and so funny. Um, the interactions between Mary Poppins and, like, Michael and Jane I thought were really funny, too. So, definitely the original for Best Comedy. For Who's the Winner? Why not both, honestly? I felt like both were very solid movies. Um, honestly, I would give, like, Mary Poppins Return, like I said, like an 8 out of 10. And I would probably give, like, the OG Mary Poppins, like, a 9 out of 10. So, I mean, I would probably rank OG higher overall. But I think they're both really worth watching. Even if you, like, didn't grow up into Mary Poppins, I would definitely give Mary Poppins Returned a chance because it's not even really all about Mary Poppins. It's a lot about Michael and his journey with his kids and that beautiful storyline of him having to lose his wife and, and potentially almost losing their house. And it's just, it was a great... A great storyline that I feel like anyone can enjoy even if you're not a fan of the OG Mary Poppins. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below, like I said, letting me know what you thought of Mary Poppins Returned and how you feel like it measured up to the original Mary Poppins, which was so iconic. It was in The Great Movie Ride, which is what this video ultimately is in celebration of, is all of the great movies that made The Great Movie Ride 
great. <laughs> so thank you so much to Matt for putting this all together. You are awesome. His channel is awesome. Like I said, I'll leave Matt's channel, Teacup for One, linked in the description box down below, as well as the other channels that are participating in this week's video. And also tonight at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, check us out over at Matt's channel. We will be having a live stream for Mary Poppins. We'll be talking about Mary Poppins and I'm super excited to be on that live stream so make sure to check it out. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel please make sure to do so for fun weekly videos and live streams. I hope you have a magical day and I'll see you real soon. Bye!